Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Potato face? Do you want to go outside? Yeah, you want to go outside. Because you, you got to go potty. So do I. Crap, I did that thing where I turned off the camera. I like to do one straight roll. Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? It is Monday, 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 live on Skivens. Not really, because we're like three days in advance, but hey, whatever. Look at this thing sleeping like a little baby. Who wants to pet a baby? I want to pet a baby. I want a baby, baby. Who's in your boo-boos? She hates it when I do that. I don't care. I'm going to tie the dog off. And then while he's outside pissing out his bum, I'm going to go out in the bathroom and pee out mine. Not really. Who's a puppy? Who's a little puppy dogs? Who's a little puppy dogs? Okay, go play. Ah, son of a bitch. It's friggin' snowing out. I'm blaming this all on Barbara Walter. Don't know why, but she's taking the blame she deserves it okay burb gotta pee it's official i'm done editing for the music video for now until we get more clips can't believe that fly i squished like three months ago is still stuck in the window but anyway i got all of uh are you coming back in the house he's like out there just prancing in the snow i know oreo loves snow Go get your puppy dogs. Sitting there licking his chops. We got the film basically act one's done. I got it all edited up. I got some fine tuning to do because I noticed that the lips don't move with the audio on the chorus. It's off by like 0.30 milliseconds. The untrained eye probably wouldn't notice it, but my eye does and I don't like that. So I'm going to have to go and do a little nudge, nudge, shuffle, shuffle, make it freaking work. And then everything should be in sync and looking good. So uh, but we got the chorus done. There's a couple more scenes. There. I'm going to have to go over there and film to get what I want because the instrumental part at the end doesn't make sense. There's a part in the video right now where I have it set up. It's a guitar solo, but for some reason we dubbed in a piano solo and there's no piano. So <laughs> it's kind of stupid to do that. It'd be better if we had a guitar solo and better yet, it's an electric guitar. So if we had an electric guitar, anyway, I'm talking about this. You guys will see the final product when it comes out if you want to watch it. If not, that is up to you to make that decision on your own accord, not me. Today is gonna be the first day of OMAD, one meal a day, which means today I'm not gonna be eating until tonight. After work, I wanna throw down a workout because I haven't lifted since last Thursday. Day, and I kind of want to get back into it. Feeling good, feeling spry, feeling whatever else stuff and junk. And yeah, we're gonna do OMAD. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna have some yawns followed by some other stuff. Uh, no, for tonight for dinner, we're gonna have whatever. I don't even know what the heck we're gonna make. We'll do another live cooking show, I guess. You guys seem to enjoy those where I just randomly throw shit into a pot, give it a name and eat it. And I never make it again because I forgot what the hell I did. You know, those shows. Anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do tonight for Din Din. I got, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I got in the fridge taken out. We got some ground beef, got some cheese slices. We got some cheese wraps. We got charcuterie. Oreo's already going for the charcuterie. Who am I kidding? We got to, we're not going to do OMAD. We're going to make lunch today. We're going to do uh, fried ground beef and peppers with cheese. Uh, I want to eat before that workout. Come the new year. I plan on doing some heavy fasting. Like I, my weight is friggin' ridiculous right now. I, I'm kind of ashamed of how much I've gained since the past, since September. Uh, the whole plan was was to eat to gain eat in excess of calories to basically put on muscle. But I've been eating in excess of calories, but not healthy foods, donuts and Doritos and other dirty freaking foods. And I don't normally eat like that, and I have been. You can really feel it in the waistline. But I'm friggin' hungry, so we're gonna have lunch today. So we're gonna do OMAD and I'm like, no, but we're gonna keep a keto. Like we're gonna keep a keto. Like this this weekend I behaved. I'm not gonna lie, I behaved. I ate on Friday. Friday? No, Thursday? Saturday? What did I do Saturday? Saturday I had chicken. I had a chicken. And yesterday I didn't eat anything until I got home from the shoot. Like I went to Clifford's house and then we've been filming all day until like six o'clock at night and I didn't touch a piece of food. Uh, there was pizza there. Didn't touch it. I knew not to because that 280 calories a slice and a slice that doesn't fill you up, everybody here knows you can easily friggin' pound down an, a medium pizza, no problem on your own. In the end, you're still hungry. So it's like, yeah, why bother? That's why I decided that I'm just not gonna do that. And instead, what we're gonna do is eat like a ketogenic diet. We'll still probably be under a calories. I gotta weigh out the beef and all that as I cook it and the peppers and, and all that so that I can get my calories in, calories out. I gotta get back on documenting my foods because that's where you lose the weight is when you document what you're doing versus what you have. And then you can always make sure you're in a deficit. I don't really want to be in a deficit. I just want to burn more fat than I'm consuming and let the protein do its work to, you know, friggin' rebuild the body. And then come January, maybe mainly February. February is when I want to start cutting hard. And then come April, I should be back down to my target weight 
of 210 and then when I'm there then I can see okay where do I need to move if I need to drop more fat or whatever I'll never be ripped like a bodybuilder I'm not thinking about that I just want to be happy with myself like I'm happy right now that I'm you know I'm 250 plus pounds and I'm still mobile, I'm not feeling grungy, I can still climb the stairs, I can still get up in the morning. Uh, mobility's a little bit rougher than when I was 210, not gonna lie, I don't feel as nimble, as jumpy, as happy, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good still, so that's a good sign. Anyway, I just thought I'd come down here and pace for a bit because I've been stuck in my room dealing with troubleshooting problems and uh, yeah, coming downstairs and stretching the old friggin' shit kickers feels pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back upstairs, pitter patter get this shift over with not sure what we're gonna do tonight uh might set up that bluetooth thing might not i don't know we'll see we'll see what we get up to because uh now that i'm done with that with the editing for the first act i got time on my side yo yo oh 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 Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Skivens. Today, we're going to make an interesting meal for lunch. It's going to be a keto meal. If you've ever heard of keto before, it's not where you stick a key on your toe. <laughs> cool. You found that funny. That's awesome. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started on our, our food. So for this, we're going to need the following ingredients. We're going to need ground beef. We are also going to need an orange pepper. We are also going to need a red pepper. We are also going to need some shredded cheese. There's sh there's shredded cheese in there. In case you didn't know. And now you do know. And knowing's half the battle. <laughs> yup. So basically what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to preheat a pan. So we'll come over here. This is a pan. We'll set it on the heater and we'll turn it on to a medium heat and let that warm up. Next, what we need to do is to take these things, core them and chop them up into itty bitty pieces. But first, a word from our sponsor. Now that we have a sharp knife, let's go ahead and cut our way into these peppers. By doing a circle motion, pushing in and then pulling back, you should be able to rip the guts out of this pepper. We'll rinse and repeat with this pepper. The guts, the pepper. Guts, guts, the pepper, pepper. Guts, the pepper. Guts, guts, the pepper, pepper. Now we will dice this up into small edible portions. As you can see, the pepper has been chopped up into peppers. Our stovetop should be nice and warm. Let's take you guys over to the stovetop and see how things are transgressing. That's even a word. Before us, we have a pan that feels really hot because my wrist accidentally touched it. Now we'll throw the ground beef into said pan like so. We'll smash down the ground beef so it evenly cooks and browns as the ground beef does when you heat it up in a pan. Okay, for the time being, we will let this brown and then we'll check on it in a minute. To add a bit more flavor, I think what I might do is throw in some of my pitter patter powder. And on top of that, we will toss in a little bit of salsas just to give it that extra bite. I've never cooked with salsa before, except for that time I cooked with salsa. That time was a disaster. Maybe this time will be a little better. While that browns and turns into brown beef, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in these peppers. And then we'll mix in the peppers with the beef. I have no idea what I'm making, but the last time I made this, it turned out really good on a wrap. We're not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna eat it as it is. And while this all cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some grated cheese just because that's gonna make it delicious. I guess you can say we're making a pizza casserole without the casserole dish and or the pizza and or the pepperonis and or the tomato paste. I guess you can say we're not making a pizza casserole. As you can see, the product is coming out kind of neat. Just gonna do a little bit of flipping and blending. It sounds like a cool idea in my brain thinking area. I think I might add the rest of the cheese to it just cause that sounds freaking delicious. And that will free up one more container in my refrigerator. Okay guys, the product is complete. Now to bowl it. My spatula is covered in cheese. I do not want that to go anywhere else but in my face hole. 
So now we'll go ahead and move this here to the bowl. I was gonna plate it, but I noticed there's a lot of juices and plates don't retain juices that well, as you may know if you read it in a book somewhere. I never read that book. I just know from experience. And there we go. A lunch that I'm 100% sure will make me shit my pants. So thanks for watching my cooking show. Hopefully you enjoyed my meal making skills and abilities. Tune in next time where we might make the exact same thing because I'm not known for switching off of things. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? It's friggin' late o'clock again. Coming, stupid? Oh, man, I wanted to grab my friggin' jug of water. The whole reason why I'm going downstairs, I already got my supper, so I figured I'd go downstairs and fill this thing up with water and then have some water with my supper. Been drinking a lot of Coca-Cola and other pops lately, and I need to friggin' stop that. I need to stop drinking the colas and stuff. Start getting back on the water train, you know what I mean? I was doing so good, and then I got so distracted, and gotta not be distracted. Distractions are how I got to the way I am now, so it's also uh, you may or you may not hear the laundry going off in the background And if you do it's because I discovered something today. I have no pants left I managed to find this pair in the dryer But I literally had all my pants upstairs in a pile and the dog was sleeping on it Why was he sleeping on it and not sleeping on his bed? You'll have to take that up with him and you can do so on his potato pup page in, on Instagram Links down below. You want to ask him why the hell he sleeps in my clothes and not that awesome bed he has. Now, he might not answer you because, you know, he doesn't have opposable thumbs and, well, he's a dog, but you can ask him anyway. I think I might spice up my water, though. I think I might spice it up with a little bit of peach mango squirt squirt. This stuff here has zero calories. I love it. It's so good. Right? Zero calories? Yep, zero. Zilch nada. Well, I don't like this brand, the President's Choice brand. She's kind of bunk. The best one to get, I find, is called Zazz. And you can get it at your local Freshco in Canada. I don't know if they have a Freshco in the Mercas. Mother friggin' nom nom time. Cook myself a little steak, got myself some veg, got no starches. Today's been a pretty good keto day. I've not breaking the keto laws of keto. If I say keto one more freaking time, I'm gonna lose more subs, but. <laughs> Balls against humanity, eh? What are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? Anywho's, I'm gonna head her back upstairs. I got my food up there waiting. Probably gonna watch a video i think dr disrespect put out another <coughs> gaming video today and i didn't get a chance to do any of that because i'm like before i'm actually pretty busy right now so i don't have the time to screw around i actually got to do work when i'm at work freaking sucks but it's awesome i'll chime back in when i chime back in and i'll talk to you when i talk to you all right peace what up chicken butt i don't know why i said that i have no i have no rhyme or reason why i said that i i, I apologize if you're offended by being called the chicken butt now a word from our sponsor it's like nine o'clock i'm freaking super tired i'm i'm sitting there i'm editing right because i had to edit yesterday's vlog and today's vlog and because i freaking i'm stupid i gotta pee so you guys can just sit there look at the look at the door while i pee don't listen in Last night, like I said, I was, well, I got, I haven't been able to talk to Nikki all weekend because I've just been so busy with, what the hell was I busy with? <laughs> Friday night, I was busy at um, planning the video shoot. Saturday, I didn't really do much. Like, we totally could have talked on Saturday. I don't know why we didn't. I think she was busy with Christmas shopping. That's what it was. She was out in the bed. We talked for a bit on the phone, I think on Saturday. And then I streamed for six friggin' hours. That was fun. What did I do? And then Sunday, I was shooting all day, so. But I filmed on Saturday. That video is already up. Filmed yesterday. That video, I edited it today. Went to render it. Was like, wow, that rendered super fast because I didn't render it. I friggin' hit render and it didn't render. Rendered like a two second part. Uh, I should let you guys know. I'm collecting farts again. I don't know why. I'm just collecting farts again. Probably gonna make some more music albums. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. We're gonna make, make some funny music songs. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be, <laughs> we might do some copyright music with it. Giving shits the hits, you know? <laughs> shits the hits. We'll find out what's the leading top song on the radio. And then we'll replace the lyrics with me blasting it out my ass. I think, uh. I think that's a good time right waiting to happen, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if that's a good time waiting, waiting to happen. It's giving shits the hits dot com forward slash shits the hits uppercase index.html. Another short vlog today, I guess. I don't know. Not too much going on right now. Work is crazy. But there is a prospect at work. They posted 10 tier two positions. I'm tier one and they're hiring 10 full-time tier twos. And I applied for one. Like right now, I kind of sort of do the tier two work just because I know how, but I don't have the ability to do the tier two work because they don't give me the privileges for my admin credentials to log in and actually do stuff. But like one of my buddies working there, 
there's tier two. So like he lets me borrow his and then I do the work just to save the client time from waiting for tier two to contact them because those guys can get so backed up that it's brutal. Uh, so I applied for one of the positions and I, I told Nikki, I told Clifford and I told Joss, if I get this job, I'm breaking my, so my sobriety and I'm getting drunk as frig. Yup, if I get that job. Now, bonus is if I don't get the job, I don't drink. The other bonus is if I get the job, I'm getting drunk as frig, because I like, frig it, man. I need to like burn some brain cells and there's no better way to boost dopamine than just get friggin' right intoxicated. Of course, that's gonna kill a weekend, but hey, you know what? Let her rip tater chip sometimes, right? So I told them if I get this job, it's friggin' on like Donkey Kong. Get me a friggin' 18 pack of beer and Clifford's like, yeah, we'll do a party at my house. So, all right, cool. I just got to find a way home. So worst case, Ontario, I'll uh, Uber it. <laughs> Leave the truck here. Got to see if I can get Joss or a couple bucks to pick me up. Drop me off at, Cl at uh, Clifford's house. She'll be there that night too. And get right friggin' smashed as an ass face. Just have a friggin' killer night. You know? Just get completely shit first. <laughs> see... The reason why I quit drinking wasn't because of I had a problem with alcohol. Because I proved that in 2018 when I quit drinking August, September, October, November, December. But then I started back up for New Year's Eve because I wanted to drink on New Year's Eve. I can't remember what the hell we did New Year's Eve that year. But we did something. I was hanging out with friends. I think we went to a concert or something that, uh, with, high, uh, with the guys from High Holy Days. I can't remember. And then January, February, March... And then after March 31st, I quit drinking until whenever. And it wasn't because I was an alcoholic. It wasn't because I had a problem with beer. It wasn't because of the same reason why my dad, due to a medical issue. I quit drinking because I chose to quit drinking. Mainly because I took a $9 an hour pay cut and couldn't afford to buy beer anymore. However, if I get this tier two position, I'll be making pretty much double what I'm making now. And... I can afford to get sauced every once in a while if I need just to cut loose. And sometimes it's okay to indulge. You just can't become addicted to the behavior. Also, because I said it's okay to indulge, it's never okay to do crack or hard narcotics. You should never do that unless they're prescribed to you by your doctor. And if your doctor's prescribing you some hard narcotics, you should really question his profession. I don't know, man. He says, oh, you're feeling down. Here's some heroin. He, <laughs> okay, you know... <laughs> That might work, but the addictive, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You might, you might, you, your doctor might be a drug dealer. I don't know. Just careful. Just approach with caution. Careful. Okay. Just lots of caution. Lots of careful. Definitely bring out your carefulness. Okay. Just caution. Careful. Carefuling the cautionness. I don't know. But anyway, so that's the plan. I don't know when that's going to happen. I've been checking the posting at work and they're still filtering through applications. And there was another posting I, I posted for too, which is also a tier two sort of position. Uh, theoretically, either one of those, they both pay the same, just they're different jobs. One's diagnostics and one's uh, incident control. Basically, when something goes major, then you, the ticket's put in your name and then it's your job to basically all hands on deck and harass people to get the damn thing fixed. That sounds like a friggin' awesome job too. And I would totally do that one too. So either one of those jobs, I applied for them, hoping to get them. If I do, I'll, um, I'm going to get smashed off my mind and there will be a video. <laughs> oh man. Like I said, I didn't quit drinking because of health reasons or mental reasons or alcoholism or anything like that. I quit drinking because number one, it was deterring my progress. That and I woke up, like went to the bar the one night and Jean and I friggin' we, like I drank a 12 pack of buck of beer, which and then Jean and I were going pitcher for pitcher. And I think we had about 12 pitchers that night. And then Saturday I was dead to the world. Sunday I was dead to the world. And by the time I was feeling okay, I was back to work. So I literally brutalized the weekend just for one night of complete alcohol abuse. So yeah, I decided, you know, maybe it's probably best to uh, pump the brakes on the alcohol for a while. And, you know, it's almost been three years. But um, I don't know. I don't think it's the, I don't think alcohol is the devil. Like people drink, people drink, whatever. It's how they act when they're drunk. Like you got you know if you act like a complete douchebag and all you want to do is fight people then maybe liquor's not your choice but if you're able to have fun and not be a douchebag then you know what have a couple drinks whatever that's up to you it's, it's when people get hammed out of their tree and then all they want to do is scrap or 
they start breaking people's shit. Like, you don't go to someone's house, get drunk, and then smash their house. It's like, holy shit, that's theirs. They worked hard for that. What are you doing, asshole? It is what it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to shut her down here because, like I said, it's quarter after nine. I'm probably going to get to bed early tonight. Both Oreo and I are freaking upstairs. We're, I'm editing. He yawns, I yawn, then he yawned again, then I yawned. And we're, like, playing tennis with yawns. And freaking, like, even right now, he's sitting there looking at me going, why are you walking? How can you do that? You're like, you should be just as tired as I am. Look at him. He can't even walk over here right like he is so poop but look his fur's coming back right he's getting fluffy again he's actually starting to look like a pomeranian he doesn't look like a chihuahua anymore right potato face yeah <laughs> anyway guys oh, i forgot how to use a camera i gotta keep the light to my face anyway guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did click that like button any questions comments concerns down below they go Hopefully tomorrow night I have a little, oh, tomorrow night, no, I got to go to Clifford's. We've got to shoot a scene. we got to fix that stupid mu instrumental where it's all guitar playing and he's playing the piano because holy crap, that makes no sense. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, remember fish, lift, cycle. And I did lift today, but never stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.